Hi guys, getting a little bit chilly now, it's about four degrees, it's raining a bit, we're heading into winter time. Now's the time to start thinking about solid fuels to heat the home, whether you have an open fireplace like we do, or a stove. You wanna start thinking wood, coal, what's gonna be better? We actually picked up this coal bunker free on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, there's loads of bargains out there, now really is the time to get stocked up on these things. I think as more people start turning to solid fuels for heating their homes rather than the gas boiler or whatever they're using, uh, things like this are gonna dry up. So luckily we got this free. I haven't got a huge amount of coal in there yet. Got a few different bags of uh, just different types. We'll see what works best for us. But when it comes to wood or coal, there's some quite significant differences in the heat output that you're gonna get from these fuels. Guys, so inside the bunker, it's not loose coal. It's just various different types of bagged coal. I haven't got enough coal to get us through the whole of winter time, but I think between the coal we have got and the wood we've got, um, we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna do the rest of the video indoors. Um, it is a bit rainy outside. It is actually quite cold. So I thought, why not just enjoy the warmth of the house? My original intention was to do it outside. But let's just try and enjoy the warmth of the house. And I wanted to show you this. So whatever fuel you choose to heat your home, it's gonna be entirely personal preference, what you like, what you don't like. It can even come down to aesthetics. Do you prefer the flame um, off a wood log or do you prefer the flame off a pile of coal? It's all personal preference. And I guess if you have access to a free fuel, it really makes sense to go for that other than you know, paying for something. Free is always better than paying, or at least in most cases. But if you are paying for fuel and if your intention is to heat your house through an entire winter, even if you get some free fuel, uh, many of us are gonna have to pay for something. Now, this is an interesting report uh, commissioned by Hetas on behalf of DEFRA. They uh, had three different appliances. One is an an open fireplace, um, like I've got uh, in this house, an old stove, so like an inefficient old stove, and then they have a modern, you know, much more efficient, you know, 80, 90% uh, efficiency modern stove. And with that, they tested various fuels, uh, house coal, smokeless coal, kiln dried wood, uh, seasoned wood. And then they looked at the efficiency of these different appliances of extracting the heat um, from these various fuels. It's actually really quite interesting. I'll leave a link to the full report if you want to uh, read it because I won't uh, show every fuel they've tested. I think it's quite irrelevant now to, to look at house coal. Uh, if your coal man even still supplies house coal, it's not going to be for much longer in the next uh, year, 18 months. It's going to be phased out pretty much entirely uh, besides a few specialist uh, applications but for your just average domestic person you're looking at smokeless coal now or some kind of dried wood so the first fuel that we'll look at is a smokeless coal now i was actually quite surprised at the efficiency they got on an open fireplace which you know if you go on the forums and you look around a lot of people claim that you know 90 percent of the heat on an open fireplace goes up the chimney this really proves that that isn't true on a smokeless coal and they get an efficiency here of 41%. So the open fireplace is managed to uh, you know, extract 41% of the heat energy uh, from the smokeless coal and uh, you know, using that to actually heat the house rather than just going up the chimney, which is, uh, is more than I thought. That was more than I thought. I thought maybe 20, 30%, something like that. Uh, but I think 41% is very good. So if you're an open fireplace user uh, like myself, Smokeless coal really looks like a potential way to go. We'll look at the other fuels, but I think that, that's a really good number at 41%. The old stove got an efficiency of 67, and then obviously the, the modern stove, a lot more efficient up there, getting a, an efficiency of 82%. Now, we move on to kiln dried wood. Look at that open fireplace efficiency drop. from We had 41% with the smokeless coal. Uh, drop into 26% with the on the open fireplace, which just goes to show the appliance, especially very like basic crude uh, appliances like an open fireplace is essentially a hole in the wall uh, that's, that's you know burning wood. Uh, actually, when you look at the open fireplace they used on for this report for this test, it looks like it could have been actually been more efficient. I think I would like to see something like a cast iron insert. 
you know, with, with better reflective properties to reflect some of that heat, some of that infrared uh, radiation back into the room. It didn't have that. It had a bit of a fire back, but it was mostly just a, you know, a, a builder's opening with a chimney. So I think they could have got even a little bit more efficiency on the first test with a smokeless coal. Uh, but look at the drop with the kiln dry wood down to 26%. So it was 41% with the smokeless drop into 26%, which really makes you think if you are buying a fuel, especially for an open fireplace, which we know aren't the most efficient, then the smokeless coal really is beating a kiln dry wood. The old stove basically got the same. The smokeless coal was 67 and the kiln dry wood is also 67. Uh, and on the modern stove actually performed better with the smokeless coal uh, dropping here to 75. That was 82 dropping to 75. So just going to show the, the smokeless coal really was a winner for the um, open fireplace and the modern stove because both those numbers dropped with the kiln dried wood. Next we have seasoned wood, um, about the same more or less for the open fireplace. The kiln dried had what, 26%, this has 28%. So a close enough number that I think that's just, uh, you, there's not really a statistical difference in that. Because if you actually go through the full report, they test each fuel on each appliance three times. The numbers do go up and down, just the nature of burning something, especially on a quite a crude appliance that uh, an open fireplace is. Just even the way the wood's cut, even just the way that the coal is piled, it's probably going to change the heat output. Uh, it's going to change the airflow. It's going to, there's just so many variables uh, when you're burning something as crude, like on an open fireplace. I think the, the difference between kiln dried wood at 26% and the, the seasoned wood at 28%, it's basically the same. So seasoned or kiln dried wood doesn't seem to make a huge difference for the open fireplace. The old stove dropped a bit. That preferred the kiln dried wood because that dropped from 67 to 61. And the modern stove... Not a huge difference in it. Uh, kiln dried was 75, seasoned was 71. Again, it's only 4% difference. Not a huge uh, difference to, to really draw too much from. And lastly, wet wood. You don't really want to be uh, burning wet wood. In this actual test, it was wet wood uh, on top of dry wood. So I think the reason that the stoves produced uh, still burnt quite well in this, although obviously not as good as the other fuels, I think they probably had the heat to actually dry out some of that wet wood before burning it. Whereas the, the open fire was just terrible, 7%. You don't want to be burning wet wood. It's going to, you know, really just clog up your chimney. It's going to produce a lot of smoke. It's not good for air quality. You don't really want to be burning wet wood. But it just goes to show the difference between, you know, a quality seasoned or kiln dried wood uh, versus wet wood they all performed quite badly although the stoves the modern stove actually did okay on it but still you're going to make your, your flue dirty you don't really want to be burning wet wood if you can avoid it but I actually thought it's quite interesting so the smokeless coal really is a winner for the open fireplaces gets 41 percent efficiency versus something in the 20s with the woods uh, and lastly they actually compare the the useful or the cost per useful kilowatt hour so obviously the the lower the lower the fuels um, you know the, the bar graph here the the lower the number the better because that that means it, it's costing fewer pence per kilowatt hour so it's got house coal there but we're not really going to talk about that too much that's going to be phased out as you can see the smokeless coals win for basically every every appliance whether it's an open fire an old stove or a modern stove smokeless coal is cheap. I mean, obviously this depends now if, if you can if you can source and you can season your own wood, then free is obviously better than, you know, the, the 10 pence uh, per, per kilowatt hour that you can get with a smokeless fuel. So free is obviously better than paying. Um, but if you are paying, really consider smokeless coal. And we've started to, to bulk up with a uh, with a smokeless now, um, especially after reading this report, it makes sense to, to really pile in on that. Um, we've still got quite a bit of wood as well. Um, but I just thought this was quite an interesting report. It's, if, if you are buying your, your fuels, go through the support, have a little look at it. It, it makes a lot of sense. For, I, I think the efficiency of 41% on open fireplace, um, that is really impressive. Uh, and obviously the, these prices change. I think this report was commissioned in 2001, uh, where I live and I think across most of the UK. Wood is either unavailable, like seasoned wood, either you just can't get hold of it, they've sold out, or if you can get hold of it, 
it is just really expensive now. It's just really expensive. So, I mean, that's that. I mean, yeah, we've got the open fireplace here. We're going to move more towards the smokeless coal. It just stores well as well. I mean, coal has basically twice the energy density of uh, wood. So one kilogram of coal has basically twice the, the potential heat output in it the wood does and even a kilogram takes up less space as well so when you actually look at storing it coal will just like that fairly small coal bunk we have outside would probably get us through most of a winter really but a pile of wood to get us through a winter will be much much bigger so if you're if you're stuck for space um, our garden's quite big but it's just we don't have anywhere really practical to put like a big uh, wood storage area or coal storage area so that little coal bunker that's that's kind of ideal for us um, so that's just another consideration to make how much space have you got if you've got a, a big barn or you can just pile wood as high as you like then wood's good but if you if you, space is a bit of a limiting factor then that's another tick for coal um, obviously wood stoves are more efficient we're quite lucky in this house that we have two uh, chimney breasts at the moment we've just recommissioned the uh, open fireplace with a cast iron insert we will see how this winter pans out we'll see how this winter pans out on the other side of the house um, we've opened that we've like knocked through the bricks where it had been bricked up we'll see how it goes potentially we could look at putting a wood stove in there i don't think i'd really want two open fireplaces it's just it's just kind of the same thing again uh, so if we did recommission the other chimney breast that would be with the wood stove but the price of doing it you know the open fireplace we've basically got sorted now for it's going to cost us like 200 pound everything done buying the cast iron insert buying the various bits fire paste da 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 um we need to get a chimney you know the, the, the chimney sweep as well but everything to do that has cost like 200 pounds where the cost of even if you do it yourself and then have to get it like signed off by the council etc the regulatory problems you're looking at two to four grand so it's a, just a big difference like 10 times cheaper so it's it really priced for us it was aesthetics me and my wife both uh, just like the aesthetic of an open fireplace so yeah we've got room as well potential ability to to put in a wood stove but between the money between what we liked uh, aesthetic wise the open fireplace made sense to us but uh yeah i wouldn't rule a stove out especially the way uh, gas and uh energy is going uh, pa future power cuts uh and also the regime we currently live under they the regime don't even really want you to have a gas boiler um a clean but going a clean burning gas boiler that's pretty much against the ideology uh of the current regime so do you think they really want you burning solid fuels if you ingress uh, invest four five grand into a wood burning stove and they just you know they say oh, you can no longer do this which is <clears throat> becoming increasingly actually problematic especially if you live in an urban environment so i don't know investing 4k seems a lot on something that the regime could just they could just say no at the drop of a hat so for a 200 pound investment uh, so far so good maybe we'll go with a stove i don't know that's gonna be that's gonna be a problem for next winter that's gonna be a decision for next year we have systems in place for this year uh, and i hope you do too because um Keeping warm is quite important, and uh, everybody loves everybody loves a fireplace. Everybody loves a stove or, or an open open fireplace. So, hope you can keep warm this winter. Uh, good luck and Godspeed. Hope you found that useful. Uh, yeah, just considering what fuel you use. Uh, it's, it's an investment, really, isn't it? It's an investment for for keeping you warm, for getting through winter, for saving a few pounds here and there. Um, so yeah, we're going to lean more towards a smokeless coal as well as wood because wood is just just very beautiful to look at a, a you know a log of wood burning they both look nice coal and wood they both looks really nice so thanks for watching this video guys uh hope you keep warm and i'll uh, see you in the next video